Hey, and good day, everyone. It's Father Mark. It is March 19th, Wednesday, Tuesday, Tuesday, March 19th. And today is the Solemnity of St. Joseph, husband of Mary, the foster father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who is also now the patron of the church, right? Protector of the church. And he is the patron of the Diocese of San Jose in California. Glory to God in the highest. And so it's a great blessing to celebrate St. Joseph this day and to, to take time to reflect on his life and the blessings that he shares with us. Uh, in our little black book today, it does tell the story of St. Joseph. Um, uh, just just a reminder of that, uh, the St. Joseph staircase. I've seen this. I visited it. I looked at it when I was living in New Mexico. It is remarkable. And the story is remarkable. The St. Joseph staircase. And so you can read a little black book. I'm not going to go through the whole story, but it is like, I mean, you can feel the presence of God. It's a church, so you know it's there. But just looking at the miracle of that staircase, wow. Anyways, passion. So Jesus is carrying his cross. Yesterday we had Simon the Serene help Jesus carry the cross, and today it continues on, and we meet other people, the women of Jerusalem who are crying for him, right? And they're crying for him out of obligation, not out of love necessarily, it says, but just kind of like, so Jesus looks at them and said, hey, you know, don't cry for me. God has got me. I'm doing the Father's will here. Cry for those who are away. Cry for those who have fallen away from God. Cry for those who are distrustful of God in their lives. You know, those, cry for those. And, and if we do, then we begin to recognize, wow, how much, how much time and energy do we spend you know, looking in the wrong direction, where God says, no, look back there. Who's forgotten that you need to go back and get? Who's lost that you need to go back and help to be found? Keeping our eyes focused on where God wants us to be. Uh, my Holy Week, starting this Sunday, I've been reflecting a lot on that, and the word that God has given me is, thy will be done. And so hopefully... As I preach these next couple weeks from Palm Sunday all into the great Easter celebrations, I will hear that word echoed again and again in my heart. Thy will be done. Uh, it's a sad scene, as it says, but it's good. Spend some quiet time with the Lord saying, where do I need to look? Who do I need to see? How can I serve you? Amen? Amen. God bless you all. Have a great feast of St. Joseph.